I knew I needed resources if I was going to track down Roscoe Bob Bryant. And hunting plumber looked like a good way to get rich quick. As the local vigilantes exposed him as the leader of the bandits and put a generous price on his head. Hey, welcome, plumber everybody. Plumber rallied his gang to plunder one last gold mine before making their escape. And that's where I thought I'd find him. This is the Corrupted Chef, and we are here playing another episode of Paul Juarez, Gunslinger. So let's get rolling, see what's going on. It makes me nervous standing so close to all these goddamn barrels of gunpowder. Why would you be nervous? No one has the components to come after us. As long as you don't light up a cigar, we're fine. And besides, George is up there on the rocks with that rifle of his. Nothing gets past him. Uh oh, somebody in the rocks with a rifle. Better sneak around. Look those guys that were talking. Where'd they go? Father pointed out oh, more more more. God made men, but Samuel Colt made them equal. Uh -oh. Come on, go down, buddy. There we go. Veterans of the Civil War. Stone cold killers trained on the bloody fields of Shiloh and Antietam. Plummer had a lot of men on his payroll. A hell of a lot. That son of a bitch pretended to protect the public with one hand while stealing them blind with the other. I'm putting you down. If Daddy had lived to see Alfred Nobel's explosive invention, my guess is he would have told Samuel Colt to kiss his ass. Where you at? He set up a defensive perimeter which I had no idea how to breach. Dangerous, desperate individuals. I was outnumbered and in way over my head, but I was too damn stubborn and stupid to realize it. They must have thought I was tough. Or had some kind of death wish. Seeing as there were barrels of gunpowder everywhere. Oh yeah, it was. Right there. Look at that. Watch out for that gunpowder. I got one, one right there. Bullet, one stray spark and I'd be blown to hell and gone. Did I have any second thoughts about what I was doing? Nope. No.
I had a few ideas on how to get into that mine, but once I made my decision, I knew there was no turning back. So my first thought was to enter the nearest mine portal. I saw an entrance. Made sense. It was the quickest way in, but that also made it more dangerous. As there would undoubtedly be enemy pickets posted along the way. Besides, once you enter a mine like that, it's easy to get all turned around. And that confusing maze of corridors wouldn't even be the worst of it. Some of those shafts could be as deep as hell. A single stumble or misstep can easily end in a deadly plunge to oblivion. Tell me where you are. Reflexes often make up for a lack of common sense. Luckily, I was never one to be easily bushwhacked. I would just need to be careful not to blow myself to kingdom come. New level, yay! Just go down. There is. With all that gunpowder and dynamite, a body has to know what he's shooting at. All it takes is one tiny spark, and boom! Surprise! Ugh. You must be about out of bullets. I don't think so. Watch oh my goodness, all this dynamite. I'm in trouble. One wrong bullet could have turned that mine into a dad blasted too. Boom. Look out. Run. I freely admit that my plan of attack was not just moronic. But clearly, it's 
a good thing that I abandoned that ridiculous plan before I even tried it. Instead, I spotted a ladder. A way into the mine from the opposite side. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this episode right here, guys, before we go a different way into the mine. Thank you all for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe, and come on over and check out more of my videos. I have many to choose from. I'm sure there'll be something you like to watch and share with your friends. So, everybody come back and watch some more of uh, Call of War's Gunslinger. And everybody have a good day. Goodbye.